Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to a new video in the Trading Up series. A bit different today. I'm on a train as you can probably tell. We're going to collect a new car. This car, I had not planned on buying it. It was a complete impulse buy. Bought it off Facebook Marketplace, sight unseen. Now, the seller did say there's quite a few issues with the car and I'm not really sure if it's gonna make it home, um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. It is a massive risk, that is for sure. Um, but yeah, I guess we just have to go there, see what it's like, and uh, yeah, hopefully it makes it, makes it home. A few moments later. So, here we are with the new car at the side of a road. Because we've broken down, yes, we didn't make it home. Uh, one thing I will say though, I'm quite pleased with the car. Welcome to the channel, the first BMW F chassis. This is an F31 318D with the N47 engine. Now, let me explain a few issues with the engine. So, previous owner, they ran out of fuel and then they put fuel in it and then turns out that the engine was then knocking. Now, the reason for the knocking, I don't know. I've basically taken a little bit of a gamble on it. The engine could be toast, we don't know. But I filled up the tank with diesel and then after filling up with fuel, I've got maybe 100 yards down the road and then the engine just cuts out. Now has the engine cut out because of the fuel situation? Has it cut out because of the knocking that was occurring? Or has it cut out because the battery is dead? The battery is completely dead. My jump pack as well, that is also dead. So you won't even jump it. And um, yeah, here we are. We're just waiting for recovery right now. but. Yeah, we need to get home and then I think we'll look into things a little bit more. Okay, so as you can see, the car is back home. Made it back in one piece with the help of a recovery truck, of course. Now, I thought I'd just show you around the car a little bit. Now, I have put the battery on charge. That seems to be charging nicely. Yeah, for whatever reason, the battery was completely dead. Now, the previous owner did say that the battery kind of went flat, and then he did charge it up, but because he kept sort of drive, you know, starting up the engine, then stopping it, maybe the battery went flat again. I don't know, like I said, I took a jump pack with me, but then because I had to jump it like two, three, four times, it didn't have the most charge itself on the jumper pack. That went dead, so yeah, the battery, just seemed to die when when the when the engine just cut out while I was driving. But I mean having a look in the engine bay like this thing is very very original and I mean it's a uh, late 2013 so it's only 10 years old. I mean this is probably as close to a brand new car that I've ever owned and yeah one thing I will say the condition of this car is very very good I don't think I've ever bought a car in this good condition before of course we still don't know what the engine issue is but in terms of the paintwork pretty sure that is all original can't see any major dents dings scratches Looks very good, looks very straight. Also as well, I've noticed that this car seems pretty high spec, especially for what it is, just the 318D. It has, and I only noticed this when I, get, when I went to pick up the car, it has a reverse parking camera. It has a auto lifting tailgate. which I don't think that's standard on F31s. 
So looking inside, it is a cloth interior, but it's still quite nice to be honest, like for a cloth interior, it's quite nice. Yeah, manual seats, I believe these are sport seats, so I think this may be a, a sport car, not an M Sport, not an SE, but a sport so i think it probably comes with a few sport features probably sport seats sport suspension i'm not sure it doesn't seem like it sits particularly high but then it doesn't seem like it sits particularly low so maybe that's slightly different but yeah again you know interior very very clean just 10 years old uh, i mean i have cars now that are over 20 years old so yeah, it seems very, very new and modern in here. It has uh, cruise control, auto wipers, auto lights, obviously iDrive, sat-nav, pretty much everything you need in here. But of course, all this will mean nothing if we can't get this car back up and running. So then, what do I think is wrong with this engine? Well, let me kind of explain the situation and basically what the previous owner told me. So, as I mentioned, as I've already said, the previous owner, they went out on a drive, ran out of fuel, and then they filled it back up, and then the engine was knocking, now, when I say knocking, I don't know if that is, you know, from a low fuel pressure situation, you know, the injectors, they can knock if they're not getting the right pressure. Is it like, you know, a bearing knock, like a rod knock, something like that? Um, or is it, you know, something else? I mean, there's a lot of things on an engine that can make it knock. It could be, you know the belt it could be a pulley like there's a lot of different things that can make an engine knock so basically when i decided to buy this car i basically looked at the worst case scenario which is a new engine you know the fact that this needs a new engine it's 10 years old now n47 engines you can pick them up relatively cheap for less than a thousand pounds so worst case scenario i have to put another engine in this and i'm prepared to do that like if that's what it needs and that's what it needs but hopefully it's not as bad as that because obviously that's pretty time consuming and it's not ideal doing that on your driveway but if it needs doing then it needs doing one thing i don't know if i have mentioned but the time and chain has already been done on this there's a receipt for it it was done in 2022 i believe so I don't think it's the timing chain. I don't think that has failed. Now, when I bought the car, knowing that there was this knocking issue, should I have chose to drive the car after knowing that there was a knocking issue? Like, let me make this completely clear. The previous owner was very, very forthcoming. You know, he didn't try to sweep anything under the rug. He said, like, I don't recommend you driving this car because I don't think it'll make it home. And he was right. He was definitely right. It didn't make it very far at all. But, you know, I thought I'll take the risk and um, whatever happens, happens. Of course, if I need recovery, then I need recovery. But kind of what I was thinking was that if it's worst case scenario, you know, if it's a bearing knock, then and the damage is already done. If I drive the, you know, if I drive the car and the engine seizes up, like it's already, you know, there's already damage being done. So it's gonna need a new engine, whether or not, you know, I, dr I was to drive it even more. So yeah, it's, um, I've noticed, well, when the time that I drove it, the little bit of time that I drove it, so it's probably five or 10 minutes in total, it was, um, it seemed down on power. The knocking noise that was getting louder with the revs climbing, so that's usually a bad sign, if anything. Um, but again, it could be a load of different things, so I'm not gonna jump to conclusions yet. And yeah, there was some squeaks as well, there was, knocks and squeaks so i don't know i don't know if that maybe is pushing me in one direction or not but yeah we just have to wait and see next video i will be hopefully getting to the bottom of things um 
I plan on making this a quick turnaround project. I don't want to have this car sitting here for months and months and months. So hopefully we can get to the bottom of it in the next video. Hopefully the engine isn't seized. I, I haven't checked yet. Like the fact that I went to turn it over and just click, click like nothing. Um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 worst case scenario, the engine is seized. The, um, the breakdown guy as well, he came with his jump pack put that on obviously that's got power went to start again again just click click so um yeah the engine could be seized but let's hope that's not the case and um we'll find out in the next video i want to thank you all for watching anyway remember to give this video a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so because like i said we're going to be finding out in that next video what is up with this car and yeah i guess i'll see you then